first one signing today, class of 2023 wide receiver, Tanner Matthews committing to West Virginia Wesleyan. Uh, had a great season for us. Uh, big things expected out of him going forward at the next level. by Tanner Matthew, Hedgesville receiver, going to play at West Virginia Wesleyan. What's the process been like to get to this point, to, to signing day to know exactly where you're going to play football coming up? Um, I, love, I went on three visits in three days. Um, uh, not a, like a really big process. I just toured the campus, figured out what I like the most, and just decided from there. Did it all come together kind of quickly over the last week? I feel like you tweeted out on Saturday that you would gotten an offer. Um, I got the offer probably like a few weeks after the season ended. Okay. So when it's, I went down there and toured and talked to all the play, players and coaches, I realized that I wanted to go there. What was the years. main reason why? Mostly the coaches and players. They're really welcoming, and I just like the atmosphere down there. What do you feel like kind of been it's been the rejuvenation process of this program that coach Faircloth has brought in the last few years and how he's going to be able to keep it going with you know you guys were stacked last year receiver specifically I mean you still got guys sophomore you know speaking Xavier Kirk one of them he was a sophomore last year he was making big plays for you how do you think that the program is going to go be now with with uh, kind of the legacy that your senior class is leaving I'm not really sure I mean I'm hoping that once we leave the next year new guys will come in and because I've heard a couple of new guys that are coming up to play for us so I'm hoping that they can keep us at least six and five or like keep it going what do you think your legacy is going to be here when not you sign but when you you know you leave this high school in, in May I'm not sure I mean I think most of the teachers like me around I think I'm a good I think I'm a good kid so I'm hoping that they'll remember me and want me to come back and teach for them all right, man. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hey, next, uh, Eli Faircloth uh, committing to Bethany, uh, play offensive tackle. Um, big thanks for us here. Again, he's another one that we expect going forward at the next level to have a, a successful career at the next level. Um, both guys, uh, and I want to mention this now, both guys did it academically as well. If you one day want to be this and sign this piece of paper, you got to do it in the classroom as well. And both of these guys have done that, and that's why they're getting a lot of money academically along with athletically. So make sure you're getting both done if you want to do this. by Eli Faircloth and Eli obviously being with this program with your dad being the head coach how much has it meant to play those four years with him a uh, few years with him it was amazing yeah. Yeah, we had a bad start first season and he got the team together and we were a family and now big things in the future for this program and you know being what you guys were able to do last year you obviously want to take that into your future of being dominant on both sides of all you're going to stay on the offensive line when you go to Bethany College what what made you choose Bethany College your dad was saying about 13 total offers they're rebuilding and that's I want to help them rebuild just like I helped rebuild Hedgesville that's that played a big factor into my decision how much do you think like going through this whole process has been with having you know your your dad was saying it to everybody here all the, your fellow uh, Hedgesville teammates what they want to do in the future that academics mean a lot going into college and being able to get that academic side has probably helped you a lot yes sir yes uh, grades were very important for me um, my dad pushed me really hard that's about it all right thanks man
We're drawing with Coach Faircloth and Coach able to get two guys to go play at the next level. Uh, Tanner Matthew being one of them has had a great year as a receiver. What has he meant to your program since you've been here trying to build up the program? Well, I mean, when he first started for us, he was a D. He was a DN, you know. Uh, and then he went to the weight room. He worked his body, got bigger, stronger, faster. And he became the athlete we needed on the edge to be able to get the ball out in space to. And, you know, the development of him from his eighth grade year to now is night and day, and that's why he's got these opportunities. I mean, you know, he signed to go to West Virginia Wesleyan, but he had he had six or seven offers. And, you know, you talk about what we heard you talk about earlier about how they get it done in the classroom as well. It's definitely big at the Division two level with, you know, a lot of guys going into these programs with not a lot of money. So the fact that he, along with Eli, we'll talk about in a minute, but that they're able to get some academic money as well definitely helps things. You know, we always, we always preach, you know, you want to get it at 3.0 mark because that's normally where the high academic money starts. And all of them being, both of them being above 3.0s, 3.5s, you know, you're looking anywhere between fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in, in academic money, and when you can do that, you know, you can afford to go to these smaller schools and, and have a chance to play. And talked about Tanner. Now talk about Eli, your son. How much does that mean a little bit more, maybe because he's your son? I mean, it means a lot because you know, from the time he was seven in Texas and watching him develop to, to where he is now, um, you know, I was glad how he made his decision. Um, he had thirteen, I think, fourteen offers and, and a couple D ones. So he, instead of going for the label, he went for the best fit, and, and I couldn't be more proud of his decision. And, you know, you talk about 13 offers there. Obviously, they all vary in what they're going to give him, and why. we'll talk about from him, but you as his coach and his father, why do you think Bethany College was a fit for him? They made him feel like family. Uh, you know, they, they stayed in contact. They, you know, they drove up here and sat with him at basketball games to watch Jackson as well. And, I mean, when, you're, when you truly show these kids that you're invested in them, and you make them feel a part of your program from the outside in, when they get there, it's an easy fit. And I think that's why it was just an easy choice for him. And today is just the day, the National Signing Day, but there could be some other guys you have going later, oh, yeah, later got, on this we year? Got, we, got, uh, we got three other guys. We have, we have five total that wanted to go play at the next level, uh, Kyle Whaley being one of them. Uh, of course, getting tearing his ACL right for the season. Uh, he's, going, he's going to get an opportunity. He's got a couple schools that are you know, willing to, to get him down there and get him, get him working. And then, of course, Jackson Ruest and then Braylon Connor got an offer. So All right, and Jackson us, is probably just deciding what he wants to do, baseball or football? I mean, he's had offers to do both at the yeah. same school. So for him, it's, it's going to be, you know, what do you, if he wants to focus on one or the other, he's got offers to do both, or he can, uh, you know, do both. Um, he's had uh, two or three schools offering to do both. All right, thanks for the time, Coach. Yes, sir.